Hello, I'm Tyler Bishop, and this is the Zoic Academy. Hello and welcome to Ezoic Academy. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the site speed accelerator with name server integration. First, select site speed as your module after you've signed up for Ezoic and click continue. Once on your home dashboard, you'll see that the first option is to integrate your site. This is where you should start. After clicking on integration, if you're a WordPress site, you'll have a third option, which includes WordPress integration. If you've already integrated via Cloudflare, you'll also have an option for Cloudflare integration. Otherwise, we recommend name server integration as the best integration option for almost all sites. Click on View Instructions to get started. Once in here, you'll see your current name servers if they're already in place, and will provide options for what you should change your new name servers to. In this case, Ezoics. I'm going to select my first name server and then navigate to my host or wherever my DNS is managed. From here, I need to navigate to the area of my admin screen that allows me to change my name server or DNS records. Here, you can see my existing DNS records, and I'm going to set new name servers. I add the first one, and I go back to my Ezoic homepage, and add the second one. From here, I'm going to save my changes and navigate back to Ezoic. Once I've changed my name servers, all actions necessary for complete integration are finished, and I can click on Integration Completed. Ezoic is going to remind me that name server propagation can take a little bit of time. And so it may take up to 18 hours before your site is actually integrated with the Zoic. Once finished, I can now navigate back to my home dashboard. I may need to wait up to 18 hours before I can access and use the SiteSpeed Accelerator. However, if I would like to get started now, I can go ahead and configure the SiteSpeed Accelerator according to my specifications. I can select which devices it would be best to use the SiteSpeed Accelerator on, I can also install the caching app if I would like to use Ezoic for advanced caching and CDN. Lastly, I need to turn on the site speed accelerator. From here, I'm giving multiple options, which include conservative, recommended, experimental, and custom. In my case, I'm going to use the recommended setting, which we found is what provides most sites the fastest and best experience. Ezoic will always remind me that the site speed accelerator must be activated because we want everyone to be able to preview their site first. You must click on preview. Once you've navigated back to your home dash and notice that on your previewed version of your site, if there are ads they are showing, if there are menu items or other aspects of your site that are displayed the way that they're supposed to be, there are no errors. You can know that the site speed accelerator is working the way it should. If you notice any errors, you may want to try creating different versions. Otherwise, if you're ready to go, simply click Activate and Confirm. Once confirmed, clear your cache, and then you can begin testing how much faster your site is using Ezoic's SiteSpeed Accelerator.